Klein is the Threads, aka fashion editor for Metrosphere magazine and our resident style expert. I, for one, have her on my speed dial for all my fashion emergencies, she'll tell you. Um, here to talk about what's hot, not, and in between is Kayla Klein. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. So, well, thank you for coming. Um, it's true, Avery doesn't know this, but I tend to text Kayla often when I'm oh, out goodness. shopping for things and say, I just you know, text my mom. <laughs> Kayla's my fashion mom. So if I ever have a question about, is this a good look, she'll say, give me the thumbs up okay. or down. So, and, and she's a trusted advisor. Um, and she's also an excellent editor at Metrosphere. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about your weekend. You had a really fun, fabulous weekend. Yeah. Denver Fashion Week. Yes. Give us the skinny on that. I love Denver Fashion Week. This was my second time going, and it just blows me away to see Denver, which isn't necessarily regarded as a fashion capital right. has a fashion scene. Okay. I mean, there are people here that have really high fashion minds and can create really interesting ready-to-wear looks and avant-garde looks to parade down the runway, so. And you saw some pretty yeah. avant-garde looks. Tell yes. us about some of the more funky. So, the most avant-garde show that kind of sticks out in my mind was Kotomi Yoshida. Okay. Um, and that was on night two and his whole show was like this sort of underground dungeon type theme. It was so all right male models. Alley. Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm ready for that. You should definitely look into purchasing <laughs> some of those clothes for the next show. What is dungeon wear uh, for those who might not know? Yeah. So it was all male models okay. and they all had very dark eye makeup. Um, hmm. And the actual looks were, it almost, looked like suits that had been destroyed. Okay. Um, there was like a collared shirt, but the collar went down to there. There were lots of chains. Um, chains. Lots of clothes that looked like they had been destroyed. Wow. But in such a way that it all went together. It was on purpose. Mm -hmm. It was intentional. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. So maybe not the things that you would necessarily wear, exactly. but from a spectator, yeah. it, was, Just it was a fun show. From an artistic standpoint, yeah. something that you can really respect. Did you have a favorite of something like, oh my god, I want everything that just came down the aisle, or you so, know, that's a designer I want to yes, check out? Yes, definitely. Um, Rachel Marie Hurst, her show was also a night too, and she had a lot of colors that I really liked. Mm -hmm. um, lots of like navy blues, a couple nice. of like pastel colors. Um, but the thing that stuck out most to me about her collection was all of her items had like bell sleeves. Oh, which is it's kind of a big trend now. Yeah, right? it's a really big trend right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And You're all over that, right? Yeah. Bell sleeves. Yes. yes. <laughs> you, why aren't you the resident fashion I know, expert, I Avery? Do it. Like bell sleeves, <laughs> chains. I mean, you should see chokers. Avery when he gets out of the studio. It's from into a suit, oh, yeah. into a polo. I mean, super stylish. <laughs> <laughs> it's about my two looks: edge. suit, polo, suit, polo, pajamas. Go. But. No, her collection, it was a nice mix between ready to wear, but elevated. Mm -hmm. So um, from a fashion standpoint, you know, you can respect that a little bit, sure. bit more than just like basics. Right, so. right. Cool, so outside of Denver Fashion Week, um, mm -hmm. which was a special event, throughout the year you've been covering um, different tastemakers in mm -hmm. town, so stylish people in Denver. Um, you have a feature each month called Branded, where you profile a shop or um, mm -hmm. a designer. So are there any pieces that you've written throughout the year or people you've interviewed that have really stood out to you? So I think the most inspirational from just a fashion point of view was my very first article that I did for Metrosphere. And I profiled a blogger, Vanessa Samuel. That was a great piece. Yes. Yeah. And it was sort of an impromptu interview. I, was, I knew I wanted to profile a blogger. Mm -hmm but there are so many options. Denver has a huge blogger scene, and so I was going through Instagram, and I came across Vanessa's page, and everything that she was wearing just blew me away. Her oh, sense- She's fabulous. Yes. Yeah, the visuals for that story. I yes. mean, she just- Her sense of style yeah. is so bold, and she takes things that you wouldn't think to pair together, and she puts them together, and she rocks it. And, and she has a different day job from fashion, yeah, doesn't she? She's, she's an engineer. Yeah, she's an engineer. Uh -huh. Which, but I mean, talk about contrast. Stylish. Yeah. Completely different end of the spectrum. And she, you found her on Instagram. Yeah. Very cool. And she was telling me that when she goes into her day job as an engineer, the people there never understand her outfits. <laughs> <laughs> they make fun of her outfits. Why are you wearing this? 
But I just think it's so cool that she just keeps doing She's it. She's just doing yeah. her own thing. Yeah, kind of like you. You do your yeah. own thing, right? Yeah. So let's um, talk about some spring trends. So since you know not everyone has you on speed dial, but if they wanted to know for today, okay, what do I need to take out of my closet and what do I need to put in? Okay. Just below them. If I could say like my top three trends for yeah. spring, um, velvet number one for 100%. spring. Yes, I always think of that for winter. Exactly. Don't you think of that? Yeah, like Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. I feel like Santa Claus wears velvet. Yes, <laughs> Santa Claus definitely wears velvet. He and was the OG. He rocked yeah. the velvet. Yeah. Oh. But so I can no. get my Santa suit back out for springtime. <laughs> Ready to go. Just in time. <laughs> when it came out and kind of rose to prominence this fall, uh -huh. this past fall, I think a lot of people were questioning: Is this going to make it spring? Right. Um, I know Victoria Beckham showed some velvet skirts. Victoria Beckham who has a line dropping at Target yeah. on April 9th, which know, I'm very excited wait. about. We're going to be we're camping out. <laughs> we're camping out the night before. More shop at like Walmart and Kohl's. <laughs> it's time to raise your standard. Baby. To Target. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Victoria Beckham. Um, so she's big on velvet. Yeah, and I think a lot of people were just, <clears throat> is this, this is such a winter and fall sort of a fabric. That, yeah, that's how I would Is this it. going to make it to the spring? Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing a lot of it in spring colors. Okay. Um, like pastels are really in style oh, right well, now. Well, Biani had that great velvet jumpsuit that she yes. wore to Denver Fashion Week. Yes. I saw on your Instagram, mm -hmm. her Instagram. Yes. Um, a pantsuit in velvet, like a champagne color. It was beautiful. If yes. I was her size, I would grab it from her in a heartbeat. I know. <laughs> she had to have her, she, she had to have her mom hem it so that it would fit her because she's so She's so tiny, petite, I yeah. Know. Oh, we love you, Biani. I know. <laughs> um, okay, so velvet is big. What else is big? Now, chokers, I see you have on today. Yes. Is that still a thing? I mean, I have... It's I still a thing in my book. Okay. I'm <laughs> obsessed with the choker. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Um, I know that... I mean, I think some people are taking the choker trend a little too far. They're wearing, like... Giant, massive Yeah, collars. I don't know if you've seen... Forever 21 has this, like, collar... Almost. I it's know. Like my daughter maybe collar. saw it. I, I, I'm Forever not 21 is a little yeah. uh, anxious, yeah. uh, anxiety producing for me. No. There's too many choices. Oh, it's um, very overwhelming. Yeah. It's very yeah. messy and unorganized. And there's I want to just, options. you know, well, calling out character. Forever 21. Right we, I mean, Forever 21, they have great stuff. It's just I'm not a good mm -hmm. digger. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But I think. I don't know if I could do a massive. I don't think I could do a massive one either. Yeah. I think if you. What about you? Maybe if it was like bulletproof, you know, never <laughs> too safe. I mean, there you go. That's like going to be the new trend. Maybe that's in like really what it is. Force. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bulletproof chokers. So, I don't know. I like chokers as long as you don't go overboard with it and wear like three or wear. You know, okay, a so single choker is still good. Yeah. I I think it's nice when it's small like that. Yeah. I was at Boulder Dinner Theater and they had Cinderella wear one <laughs> for her costume and it was very there you go. See? Simple. If it's good enough for Cinderella, it's good enough. For me. There you exactly. go. I think we'll leave it there. So, All right. thank you so much yeah, for joining us. And uh, we'll be back. Thank you.